Hey guys, welcome to episode 31. And I am thinking of upgrading the... Um, not upgrading, but taking this steam bowler and putting in the others so it's a full steam bowler. Because I believe now I don't have to worry about, like I did before, about the uh, blaze rods. Um, because I've got them turned off right now, and I believe that is what I am going to do for this episode. So, what that means is, uh, first off, go over here and check some stuff. I've been running some of that, uh, olivine dust in here and making um, silicone panels so now I want to throw some aluminum in there because that's one th other thing I was trying to do let's take those out and I don't use compressed air for anything so let's just do that all right, um, so I need to get my wand. And pull my golems up here. So let's go ahead and grab you. And let's grab you. So this is full, so I should let it probably trickle down and empty out. So I don't throw blaze rods everywhere. That thing should be pretty much full. Um, so I have that off. So I should be able to keep all this stuff up on top the same. It's just... Uh, actually, that'll work. I can just add the row over here. Yeah, that'll work. So... Do, 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 do. So if I break that's gonna be a lot of blaze rods <laughs> flying around if I do that. Um do I have enough for a chest? No. Let's see. Um So if I remove that, yeah, I'll just pop them back in here. So it's going to go all the way down to there. So let's go ahead and pop this off. Oh wait, it should, I should be able to just add it with no problems. Let's just see what happens. If I make a big boo-boo. Then I make a big boo boo. And I think I had this stuff in here. And you can see I went back to the texture pack. Um, this is actually the faithful one I had running before. Because I went to go look at stuff and I'm like, oh my god, I can't tell because John Smith. So I, I got to play with John Smith a little bit more to understand the texture pack so I can find stuff quicker. Um, so which was it? Uh, low pressure. I should actually make it a high pressure since I'm doing this. Hmm. Do I have any more of the liquid, the bottom part? I thought I did. Am I just that blind? Oh, there it is. There. So yeah, let's uh, see how this works. This might be a big mistake, but uh, I can always go back to the way it was. So that is full, so let's go ahead and grab that and just set it right there. And 
let's just knock off the bottom. And we want to. Why did I knock? I didn't need to knock off the bottom. I'm an idiot. I needed to take off the top part. So let's do this. And I am getting really bad frame rates right now. I don't know why. So before I put that down there, I want to put these. And let's get this. Pop that off. And. Whoops. Um. Am I missing one? Where am I missing? Where did it go? So I'm missing one of these solid. Well, might help if I could spell solid. <laughs> solid fuel firebox. I should actually have enough because I had this set up at one time. see it land anywhere unless it hung on something over here but that's impossible um all right well let me go make one and I'll be right back all right so we should have enough now just want to make this one haha <laughs> bam Um, no zitches. Alright, so... Ba bam So now, it should be the same height as the other one was. I'll just pull off this just so we make sure nothing doesn't go all kind of screwy all right so ha ah, no don't start doing that Can't go any higher, can I? Maybe like 12 more extra. Extra. I don't think I can. Because that's right there. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, that's the 
how's it go? So now this thing should be chunking blaze rods in here. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and connect that back to that and whoops let's connect that back to that and the third one automatically connected so let's just make sure it's pointing going to go in the right direction and try to get back up top here. Um, it should fill up. Man, that thing is going through some blaze rods. So let's go ahead and put our golems back down here. Um, so I need to do that so the golem can walk over here and go. So we need to do clay golem. Clay golem that. And why did it pick up the sword? Put the sword down and pick a color. I think it was orange. Orange and any amount. Oh, it was red. Ha ha ha. Perfect. So now, if I break this, not tell Mr. Wood Golem there, or not Wood Golem, but he's the Stone Golem, I'll click on you, he puts him in there. Sweet. So now I am going to keep an eye on this for a bit. Actually, not for a bit, but uh, as long as this thing's auto filling in here and the water is filling up, which is good. Let's put this down here. Um, arrows are pointing the right direction. Let's go turn the blazes on. And reboot. Forgot to turn this on too. So let's start pumping blaze rods back in here. Oh. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Alright, so it's going to pump in there. Golem keeps that one full. The system keeps that one full. It's really this one. Ooh.
Yeah, I guess any one of these are, since they're connected to it, it's going to throw them in there. So. So it's pretty much full, so it's going to take a while. It's going to take a lot to charge back up. And I am pretty much prepared for this because um, that's why I've been collecting so many barrels lately. So let's grab this barrel. And I can't fly. Take my pilot license away from me. And we'll go over here and we'll set this one down too. So it's got to go through all of those. And this should actually be putting more stuff, so. Alright, the next game plan to see, hopefully that works out well is to rearrange this area over here um, I did open this up at one time thinking I was going to put another uh, uh, steam boiler here but uh, now that I've upgraded that one I'm going to let that one stay for a bit and I'm going to redo this um, this energy tesseract is actually connected to my quarry let's go ahead and turn it on and I've got a turtle that is checking this energy cell. Let's go ahead and pump it to max output. And max output. So, and plus it's connected to the, the furnace stuff here. So, the turtle will keep looking. Once this is empty, it's going to drop this one down and then turn and pick this one back up in its spot and charge the empty one the only question is I want to make this better so that it's always charging something so I wanna yeah that turned on because of this right here I want to separate these two things and just have the turtle put down a energy cell when it's full but then use the turtle to say okay well here I got an empty one let's put it in here empty one and have like multiple redstone energy cells and why is this empty why is the steam oh that's right until it gets to a certain degree the steaming will work uh, that's not gonna work uh, let's turn this off Disable. Um, yeah, that's just gonna run out of steam. And yeah, so well, I guess when I come down here in a little bit and see if there's steam in there, then I guess we're good. So I'm gonna kind of put the floor back in here and uh, kind of design some stuff and or try to figure a way I'm going to do this. So I'll be back. Uh, once I know what I'm going to do okay so I think for the little redstone charging area I'm gonna do something like this uh, I don't know how good it's gonna work but uh, it should have steam in here why is why does it not have steam in here Does it have to go into the back of it? Well, that don't make any sense. Um, well, let me go ahead and do this then. Uh, see, this needs power. So let's put, let's put it right here. Let's do another like this. And we say uh, 
no energy. Put a redstone. Can store energy, redstone signal. Well, there it goes. And there it went. <laughs> there it goes, and there it went. Um, hmm. Oh, I guess that's how. It's keeping up with it. But is it. It's not putting the full thing of steam in there. Why? But it is charging, so. So it's doing 8 per. So. It's not really that much. Might have to do. I might have to do something else here. Um, let me let this run for a little bit more and then let me see why only 3801 is going in there. Okay, so what I did was I actually added another pipe here. I know this might be a waste, but just to cure, cure my, satis my curiosity satisfaction. I definitely can't talk today. So as soon as I did that, I saw more steam go in. So it's right at these 8,000. So I guess I just needed to connect it to another thing here. So this looks like it's still pounding away at 186 now. But it's actually keeping up. So it's not dropping down under the max there so so this is the the four going right there and it's just going to pound away so let's just do my turtle thing now so I'm going to do um Turtle here, there, and turn that. Let's stop the program and do turn left two. Now reboot. All right. So it's not empty. It's not going to do anything. It's going to charge this one up. I'm wondering if I should put four down underneath. Because if I'm not mistaken, the, these high pressure boilers should do really, really well. So I'm going to let this run a bit. Um, then I've got to get something connected for over here. <clears throat> Is there anything that needs work done? Nope. Hmm. So if it's charging this one up, and then if I put, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, because uh, that's just like what I had right there. But I wanted to get it to where it will charge multiples. Let me see something here. I don't want to edit energy. Of course, you can't page down. Um, so it's looking for new energy, and then it's just going to do that. So I should change this program to actually, when this is no energy, it will pick it up and put down a new one 
and then before it picks up yeah before it picks up the one that's charging is to actually run its weight code and say okay if it's full of energy then take it if not then wait I think that yeah I'm gonna work on that that'd be good because if it just sits here if this drains faster than it's charging then it's just going to keep flipping back and forth as soon as it gets power as soon as beam 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 yes I love those sound effects all right so you're still pumping away here you're getting two max so as soon as that thing gets the max it should turn off so all right I'm gonna take a look at this code a little bit and I will be back again all right so I've been messing with this for about uh, quite some time um, enough to where this has gotten to 387 apparently when the turtle not a cat <laughs> when the turtle is facing in this direction which is not the screenshot button but it looks like east to west it doesn't read things good enough but when it's facing north and south you probably hear my cat purring up against the mic here um, you probably noticed that it didn't read it so I put, turned it this way and I've done burned up all my energy cells because I thought there was a bug with something so I put them all up here so I'm gonna let this run a while and then I will be back um, I gotta tweak my code a little bit more because it didn't do like I wanted it to so I'll be back alright guys welcome back um, I have done this so I'm gonna have a turtle I'm gonna have a turtle which does uh, it's a little thing it scans and stuff when it says okay full energy dig it up and then drop it down here then it will pull a empty one from up here and place it down and then check for it to be full so I still gotta code some more stuff in here um, I still got to code some more stuff in here to um, make sure that if it doesn't have anything to pull here, then it, it checks, it waits. Because right now, it just do that, and if it doesn't do anything, it tries to place, and then it says, okay, waiting for it to fill up, and it kind of breaks it. So, And uh, what I'm going to do with that is probably use multiple engineering turtles throughout areas. Um, we have a mining world set up and right here I've got this turtle it basically will look for uh, when it's empty when it's empty it will pick it up and drop it down in there and then grab a full one and put it down so that is uh, how I am doing the um, what you would call it so every once in a while I'll just come down here and look for stuff uh, I've been pulling up these with the uh, silk touch just cause I like the, the color of it and I might do something with them later on but don't know yet but it's just something random to lead on and yes I am tired this morning so uh, where'd he go? Did I pick it up? Yeah, I guess I did. Why do I have pollen in there? Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, so that's pretty much gonna get my resources restocked a little bit and all that good stuff. So I'll just uh, throw it in there. And so right now, I'm not going to run that full time. I'm probably going to stop uh, the turtle 
because I was just doing this for demonstration and getting it to work and stuff. Um, so here you can see where I've just been doing the amber thing. Uh, I also picked up a bunch of appetite just for giggles. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's all I'm going to have for this episode because I think that's about the 30 minute mark if I'm correct or not. Um, the high pressure boiler has stabilized. <laughs> and yeah, my blaze rods is doing pretty good here. So. Oh yeah, that's right. You won't see them uh, flow through there because uh, they're probably building up inside of the turtle. And the turtle just dumps them all at one time. So it's good um, to not keep things going through the pipes all the time. So when it gets full, it will uh, start ejecting. Well, not full, but when an item hits this 16th spot, then it'll start ejecting it. And then again, uh, like I said before, this thing is really slow at pulling them out. So uh, I might have to change how that works. Because with two turtles, you know, it pretty much fills it up. But then, you know, you can see it just go on its thing. So, Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, next time, hope to get a little bit more done with uh, the turtle stuff. Uh, work with the code a little bit to um, check some things. I don't think it will actually check the inventory because that's a different uh, turtle. So, yeah, it uh, have to check some things out. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.